Many a song has been written about the merriment and magic of Christmas, but this is not one of those songs. Rather, this is a cautionary tale about what happens when that merriment goes too far, and then things go terribly, terribly wrong. This here is called Apocalypse on the Christmas Tree. Darth Vader mask ascended to the helm of a tree where an angel once watched o'er her sacred realm. The kids looked on the evil visage, filled them all with dread, as visions of sugar plums danced right out their heads. The half happiest season was undone by a treason, with no good rhyme or reason for the coniferous crime. As kids from one to ninety-two all wondered as to what to do. No chestnut roasting yuletide for the tiny tots this time. But Dad thought it was quite a gas, not the least bit sad or shocking. Should he get coal or candy canes in his Christmas stocking? On Christmas Eve, instead of peaceful, quiet adoration, even the mice were stirring such their agitation. Apocalypse on the Christmas tree. Apocalypse on the Christmas tree. Snow and ice and darkness all soon spread across the land as people down in Texas tried in vain to understand what to do with frozen pipes or how on earth to drive in a winter land where wonder could sadly not survive. Children waited patiently to see if maybe they could see or hear the merry jingle of a sledge on Christmas bell. But no nose, no matter red or bright, could penetrate into the night, and Santa stopped his flight north of the 80th parallel. Sadly, it's too icy for a bridge. Perhaps I'll get a frosty beverage from the fridge, or catch a classic Christmas movie like Die Hard, or the old disgruntled banker film where he gets money and a wingless angel's Christmas card. Apocalypse on the Christmas tree. It's amusing, but more is the like they'll find it quite insulting and confusing. With all that is at stake, I think it's not a risk I'd take. The brink of world annihilation, stinking horrible kerfuffle. A jolly and immortal saint and God the Holy Lord just ain't two folks whose feathers I would deign to get into a ruffle. Still, Dad thinks it is quite a gas, not the least bit sad or shocking. Should he get coal or candy canes in his Christmas stocking? On Christmas Eve, instead of peaceful, quiet adoration, even the mice were stirring such their agitation. Apocalypse on the Christmas tree. Apocalypse on the Christmas tree.